So in this chapter, or this section, we'll start looking at letters in our problems. A variable, if I can get my pen to work, there we go. A variable is a letter that represents a number. Like terms are numbers that have letters that match exactly, are terms that have letters that match exactly. Coefficients are the numbers that are multiplied by the letters. Like terms can only have different coefficients. Like terms can be added or subtracted. So let's see how this works. So in this problem, we have 6x plus 9. We want to know what that is if x is 4. So to do that, we just copy the 6 plus 9. And when this says x is negative 4, it means that in place of x, we're going to put negative 4. And any time I'm replacing a letter with a number, I put it in parentheses. So then we follow our order of operations. Order of operations says to multiply. There's nothing to do inside the parentheses, and there's no exponents, so we're straight to multiplication. So 6 times negative 4 is a negative 24, and we still have plus 9. Negative 24 plus 9, different signs, so we'll subtract, and we get 15. The bigger number was negative, so our answer is negative 15. So let's talk about like terms. Remember, like terms mean that the letters have to match exactly. So in this first part, we have 3a and negative 5a. The numbers in front are the coefficients, the 3 and the negative 5, and they can be different. But we have an a in the first one, and we have an a in the second one, so these are like terms. So if we look here, we have 3a and 3b. Now the 3's match, but they don't need to match because those are coefficients. So it's the letters that have to match. So these are not like terms. In this last example, we have 3a and 3a squared. Now they both have 3's, but we already said the 3's aren't important. They both have a's, but even though they both have a's, these are not like terms because this one has an a squared instead of a plain old a. So these are not like terms. The letters in the exponents have to match exactly. So let's look at this. So first of all, terms are things that are separated with addition and subtraction. And the sign that's in front of it, of the number, goes with it. So this first term is 5z squared. Now there's no sign in front, so we understand that it's positive. It's a plus 5. So we would write 5z squared as one term. The next term is this 7z. There's a plus sign in front of it, so it would be plus 7z or positive 7z. And the last term is this minus 6. But if we're looking at it as a term, we want to read that as a negative 6. The minus goes with the 6 and becomes just a negative 6. The coefficients are just the numbers in front of each of these terms. So the first coefficient is 5. The second coefficient is 7. And the third coefficient is negative 6, even though there's no letters with it. So in this case, we have a negative 7 in front of the parentheses. Now, when we, we've talked about this, that if we have like a negative 7 smashed against parentheses with a 5, it means multiplication. This means the same thing. It means as negative 7 is multiplied by everything that's inside of those parentheses. So we take negative 7 times x, and then we have negative 7 times negative 5. So negative 7 times x, the way we just write that, is negative 7x. We just write it smashed together with nothing in between, and that means that those two things have been multiplied. Here we have negative 7 times negative 5. Those are both negative, and negative times negative is a positive, so we'll write plus 35. 
They have to have a sign between them to separate those two terms because this had two terms in it. And if it's positive, we use a plus. If it's negative, we use a minus. So we'll look at this. In this case, we want a to be negative 4 and b to be 5. So we have our parentheses. And then I told you I put parentheses around every time I put a number in there. So a plus 3, and then b is 5. So we put negative 4 in place of a and 5 in place of b. Okay, so we're going to start inside the parentheses to simplify. Inside the parentheses, we don't have, there's nothing to do inside these parentheses or inside these parentheses, and there's no exponents inside the parentheses. So the next step is multiplication. So I'm going to copy what I see in here. 5 times 3, or 3 times 5 is 15. So now we have inside the parentheses negative 4 plus 15. I'm still going to copy these like that. Negative 4 plus 15, the signs are different, so we subtract and we get 11. The bigger number, the 15 is positive, so it's a positive 11. And now we just have one step left. 11 squared really means 11 times 11, which is 121. So this will look a little more carefully at like terms. So this term right here is 8a squared. So we want to look for anything else that has an a squared. And right here we have an a squared. So these are like terms. We have an 8a squared, and then the sign that's in front of that stays with that, minus 9a squared. So in order to put these together, we just do the 8 minus the 9. That's a negative 1. And they both had a squared, so the answer still has an a squared. If we look at the next term in the original problem, we had plus 4a, or positive 4a. And so we look to see if there's anything else that has just a plain a, and there's not. So that term is just by itself. There's nothing to combine it with. And then the last term up here is a plus 4. So we look and see if there's anything else that has just a plain number, no letters with it. And there's not, so that term is just by itself. So when we write our answer, we have to write that negative 1a squared, and then we write the plus 4a, and then we write the plus 4. So we put together anything we can, but anything that doesn't have anything to go together with it just gets copied. Now the last thing before we write the circle of this is that we usually, when we have a 1 coefficient, don't write the 1. We usually just write negative a squared plus 4a plus 4. It's not wrong to put that 1 there, but we usually just don't write it. So here's another light terms problem. We're going to start off the same way. This first term has a 4a squared. So we're going to look for anything else that has an a squared. And here we have another a squared, so we'll copy that down here. Now there's no number written in front of this a squared right here. So if there's no number, we want to think of it as having a 1a squared. So 4a squared plus 1a squared is 5a squared. So the next term in our problem and plus 9. So that didn't have a letter, so we want to look for anything else that doesn't have a letter. And this minus 5 at the end doesn't have a letter. Again, make sure you use the sign that's in front of that number. So this is really a positive 9 minus 5. And 9 minus 5 is 4. So the next term we have up here in the original problem was a minus 5a. So we want to look for anything else that just has an a. And there's an a right here. It was a plus a. So we have minus 5a plus a equals. And again, we want to remember this is really a 1a if there's no number in there in front of it. 
So negative 5 plus 1, or minus 5 plus 1, is minus 4a. So then we just put these pieces together in order to write our answer. So we write the 5a squared. And then we'll write this 4. Because it's positive, we'll write plus 4. And then we'll write this last term has a negative, so we just write that negative as a minus 4a. Positive and plus and negatives and minuses are kind of all really the same thing. So let's look at one more example. Again, here we have this 5 smashed against the parentheses. Remember, that means multiplication. So we're going to multiply everything in the parentheses by 5. So we have 5 times n squared plus 5 times 4n. This goes to both pieces. And then we still have this minus 11n on the end. So 5 times n squared, we just write as 5n squared. Here we have 5 times 4n, so we do 5 times 4, which is 20n, and we still have this minus 11n. Now this 20n and this 11n are like terms because they both have n's. So we will combine them. This 5n squared at the front stays in the front. And we have 20 minus 11, which is 9. It's a positive 9, so we write plus 9n. And that's our final answer.